Hey, Mike here and welcome to my channel. This video I'm going to show you how to take that gross black disgusting brake fluid that's sitting in your reservoir and all throughout your brake lines and swap it over to some nice new clean stuff. I'm also going to show you how to bleed the brakes, which is pretty easy to do and you can actually do it by yourself. But before I get started, let me show you what I'm going to use to get this job done. Okay, so here are all the different products that I'm going to be using for the um, replacing the brake fluid in my car. I basically have a kind of a uh, flexible hose here and the dimensions are 3 8 inch outside diameter, 1 quarter inch inside diameter. I picked that up at Home Depot, I know, it was a couple dollars, not real expensive. I got a funnel, I got my Dot 4 brake fluid, I got a Power Aid bottle, I mean you can use Gatorade, any kind of bottle that has a plastic lid on it. I got my drill, I got my turkey baster, and I got two drill bits, oh, one's uh, I think one's like a 16th of an inch, something like that. Uh, and the other one's uh, 516, 532nds, I believe. Um, and I got uh, two wrenches, uh, 10 millimeter, one's a socket, one's a regular wrench. So this is what I'm gonna be using for replacing the brake fluid and bleeding the brakes. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make my bottle that I can put the um, excess brake fluid or the old brake fluid's gonna drain into. And to do that, I got my drill and I got my smaller drill bit. And I'm gonna start a pilot hole right in the center. Here, just to kind of get it started. Nice and simple. And I'm going to switch it to the bigger drill bit. Okay, that fits. So this is done. All right, car is all up in the air on jacks, and what we're gonna do is um, gonna start with the far passenger side brake first, and then work our way over to the driver side rear, passenger side front, and finish with the driver side front. Uh, you really wanted to um, start with the furthest one away, uh, if you can, furthest one from, away from the master cylinder, and just kind of work your way up towards the front. Uh, one of the other things we have to do as well is our cars actually, if you have a manual transmission, our cars actually use the brake fluid for the uh, for the clutch as well. So that's gonna be fairly simple from what I understand. And um, we're gonna go ahead and, and bleed that out as well. Actually, it's not really bleeding. You basically just pump the clutch a few times. So um, to get started, we have, obviously, if you don't know, our brake reservoir is right here. And the first thing we need to do is take some of that, uh, that old brake fluid out of there to begin with. All right, to keep things from being a real mess, I'm gonna go and um, just put some paper towels around here just so it doesn't drip, or if it does drip, it just drips on the tiles uh, and not get on the, uh, the engine and everything. Try to keep it as nice as I can here. And I got my trusty turkey baker's baster and my bottle. So go ahead and take off the lid here, take off the cap. Kind of set it aside and just gonna suck some of this up and this looks pretty nasty if you can tell here it's pretty dark this probably should have been changed a long time ago i'm not the original owner but this is probably the original brake fluid i'm guessing I'm glad I put paper towels down because it is getting a little bit messy. I know my arm's kind of in the way here, but I'm sure you guys can understand how this how this works. All right, I think that's good. And here is the nasty brake fluid that used to be in there. It's pretty dark. So now I'm going to go ahead and put some of the new stuff in there to replace this with the new stuff. You can actually fill it up even a little more than you need to simply because we're just going to be pumping it back out anyway. Okay, go ahead and replace the cap. Clean you know, off this foam, get this out of here. Everything's still nice and clean. Let's go do the clutch. 
So I'm not going to actually be bleeding per se the um, the clutch fluid, which is the brake fluid, but I'm basically going to kind of be recirculating it through the uh, the master cylinder just by hitting the clutch. So let me go ahead and get in nice and easy because I'm up on jacks. I'm just going to mess here. I'm just going to go hit it hit it a few times. All right, so this stuff was pretty dirty to begin with already, but um, hopefully it kind of mixed in the good with the, new, the old. I don't think there's all that much fluid in the um, that the clutch uses anyway. So even if some of the old clutch fluid, or I'm sorry, the old brake fluid is in there, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. The main is thing is to uh, get it out of the brake lines. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that set up, and show you how to do that. All right, so here I am. I'm back at the passenger side rear brake uh, caliper and don't pay attention to this wire, it's basically just my light. Uh, in General Motors, in their uh, sense of humor, I guess, they actually put the little bleeder part way back here. See that little rubber garment there? That's actually, uh, or the rubber cap. That's actually the little nipple to use to bleed the, uh, bleed the brakes. So um, I was trying to put a regular wrench back there. A little bit difficult, so I'm just gonna use a regular socket wrench. And like I said, it's 10 millimeters. And it should come out. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put that hose on that little piece right there and then start uh, pumping the uh, fluid out. Actually but first uh, I didn't tell you I needed I forgot to actually put a little there's actually another little hole that I made can't really tell just like a little air hole in this bottle uh, to let some of the air out as the fluid is going in and what I need to do is go and put this hose inside there and the end of the hose is actually going to be inside that uh, where the rest of that fluid is and that'll keep you from getting any kind of air bubbles coming up through in the uh, brake line as you're pumping the brake. So I'm going to put the hose in there and connect it to that little nipple thing and um, connect it to the bleeder and get this back brake done. All right, one little quick tip before I get started. Actually, if your hose is like this, like you just bought it and it's all coiled up and you just can't, it just doesn't want to play along with what you want to do. What I did is I just hit mine with a uh, hair dryer. You can leave it out in the sun for a while or a hot air gun or something like that and uh, kind of like loosen it up and work it backwards um, and then that'll actually kind of keep it as coiled uh, mine's still not perfect but it's good enough for what i need to do today so um, and i basically have about three feet of the um the, the hose here and as you can see i kind of ran it in and it goes all the way down uh, to the bottom i can't see it because it's all so dark but it goes all the way down inside it's good. just got to make sure it stays inside where the brake fluid is so no air gets up there all right, so like I said, General Motors' uh, sense of humor, they actually have the little bleeder valve back here, and there's that little rubber piece on there. So I need to go and remove that rubber piece. I know my hand's in the way, I'm sorry. And it comes right off. And it's off, there it is. And there is the bleeder valve. And that's what I'm gonna be attaching the, uh, the hose to. But before I do that, I actually, uh, because I can't get a wrench back there and uh, make it up, work all that easy. I'm just going to go and just crack it a little bit with the uh, uh, with my socket wrench and attach the hose and go from there. All right. Okay, just turn it a little bit, like about a quarter of a turn. There, and I'm going to go ahead and put the hose on it now. Okay, I got the hose attached and you can already see some of the brake fluid coming out. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pump the brakes, I don't know, maybe four or five times, see how much comes out. And um, then I'm also gonna check the reservoir because you do not want that reservoir to get low. So I'm gonna pump it a few times, see how the reservoir is, maybe add some more if I need to, and then just keep pumping until this, uh, until this fluid becomes clear. All right, do a quick check with the fluid, make sure the reservoir isn't down. Probably isn't, because I didn't do all that much. Yeah, I got a lot more, I can pump it a lot more times um, before I have to worry about the reservoir. So I'm gonna probably pump it maybe another uh, eight or 10 times, check it again, and uh, just keep doing that.
Okay, as we can see here, the fluid now coming out is actually clear, which is a good sign. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close this off and this break should be done. All right, take a look at the reservoir. You can actually see that it's actually kind of drained down. I don't know if you can kind of see it there, but I can. So I'm gonna go and add some more, top it off again and start working on the uh, driver's side rear brake. All right, that back is looking pretty clear on the uh, driver's side. Now I'm gonna go and refill the reservoir and work on the front one. Okay, so here I am. I am now on the passenger's front wheel and thankfully this bleeder valve is much closer, much easier to get to. Uh, right on front here, piece of cake. Put that back on there for now. And one of the other things I wanted to show you, I actually put on, because it was kind of slipping a little bit on that one back brake uh, bleeder valve, but I put a zip tie on the end of it here, as you can see. Just kind of tighten it down. I'm not sure if I need it for the front here, but I'm gonna leave it on there anyway. Uh, and thankfully this one I can actually get with the 10 millimeter um, wrench here as well. So I actually dumped out some of the um, old brake fluid that was in this bottle just to make room for <clears throat> the new stuff that I'm gonna be pumping out and pumping in. So um, that being said, let me go ahead and get this thing done and start bleeding this brake. All right, just take off the little cap there. Going to stick on the hose. Like so, and loosen the valve. There it is. You can see it's actually coming out already. And I'm gonna go pump the brakes a couple of times. Okay, so that one is done. Let's go ahead and tighten the little valve back up again. Take off the hose. You know, my arm's in the way. There you go. And you're just going to kind of dry that off and put the, whoops, put the cap back on. All right, this side's done. And let me go do the driver's side. So now I'm on the driver's side. I already added some more um, of the brake fluid to the reservoir. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take this nipple off here, of the bleeder valve. All right, that's on there. Go ahead and crack this open. Here we go. And again, I'm gonna to try to get this up high, which makes it kind of difficult. With this tubing. Actually, it's getting some air in the opposite direction.
Okay, I'm tightening it down, but you can see the air bubbles are actually going up, uh, whatever's in there. So let me go and pump the brakes and get this thing done. All right, as you can see, it's nice and clear now. So that line is nice and, uh, and clean. So I'm gonna go and tighten the valve and take the hose off. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is just refill the reservoir, put it to the uh, proper amount, and then I'll start the car, uh, pump the brakes, make sure they're nice and solid, and then go all the way to the floor. Brakes feel nice and solid. And I'll go all the way to the floor, and um, so basically, oil or the brake fluid is replaced. And now I just have to wait for my calipers to come in for the front, and I'm going to change those calipers. Okay, that's the end of this video. As you saw, it's really not that difficult to change your uh, brake fluid and bleed the brakes. You can even do it by yourself. Uh, if you like this video, please go ahead and smash that uh, subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you're going to be told. Uh, anytime I come out with a new video and another reason why you probably want to hit that subscribe button is I'm having a drawing for some uh, Sky or solstice uh, luggage that fits in the back of our crazy trunks that we have so like I said hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video